All right, here we go. Let's start again. Um, hey, everyone. My name is Akshay Parthasarthi. I'm a technical marketing engineer at uh, NetApp's Data Fabric Group. I'm here to talk to you today about NetApp's OpenStack integrations and uh, a test drive that we have with OpenStack and Cloud on top. NetApp's uh, vision is to let customers like you have control of your data no matter where it's located. This is enabled by solutions such as Cloud on tap, OpenStack integrations, Alto Vault, um, uh, NetApp private storage, and other products. All right, what are we going to cover? We're first going to go through an overview of uh, what this test drive is about. Uh, we'll then get into the architecture, what are the different instances and the different networks that are being deployed uh, in order for you to take advantage of this test drive. Uh, the different tools you will use, these include on-command system manager, um, OpenStack dashboard, and OpenStack CLI. OpenStack CLI being the most important one as you go through the test drive. Um, I'll then show you a couple of short demos. Uh, these are totally taken from the test drive. This is exactly what you'll do if you were to go and take the test drive on your own. So uh, what are the different technologies that we use? Uh, the major ones are OpenStack, of course, and NetApp's Cloud on top. Uh, many of you all may already be aware, OpenStack allows you to control large pools of compute, networking, and storage data. Uh, 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 in your resident cloud. Uh, the next tool we'll use is uh, Cloud on Tap. Cloud on Tap is basically NetApp's version of Data on Tap running on Amazon Web Services. Um, you get the same advantages you get by running Cloud on Tap as you would on uh, Data on Tap. Uh, plus, you have a pay as you go model. You can spin up Cloud on Tap and tear it down as you desire. So as I mentioned before, the whole test drive is set up on Amazon Web Services. So basically, you click to launch the test drive. You're going to have a few hours to play around with it. And then you, uh, it'll tear it down for you. So here are the different networks and instances that you will use. Uh, the most important for, for the mo two most important ones for you are the jump host and the OpenStack instance. The jump host is what you use to log into System Manager, which is NetApp's version uh, of a GUI tool to control Cloud on top. Uh, the OpenStack instance allows you to log in to a version of OpenStack that is Kilo based, actually. It's not Liberty based. Uh, it's Kilo based. Um, you're going to do all your exercises by accessing the OpenStack instance. Um, NetApp Cloud on top, of course, gives you the storage operating system that you're going to leverage for all your exercises. Uh, in addition to that, we have a private network and a public network um, that have been set up for you. And uh, this basically allows the test drive, uh, allows you to do the test drive. So on command system manager. Um, this is one of the tools that you use. Um, using system manager, you're going to configure your NetApp's on top storage. Um, uh, that is already built for you on a AWS Elastic Block Storage and Elastic Compute, in Compute Instances, Elastic Compute Cloud. Uh, to get to System Manager, you're going to log into your jump host uh, using the IP address and credentials in your email. Then you're going to navigate to the Cloud on Tap IP address on your uh, using uh, using the IP addresses again indicated on your email. Uh, so basically, you're going to use a jump host to log into System Manager. The next tool that you will use is OpenStack Horizon. Uh, you're going to log into your jump host again uh, using the credentials in your email. Following that, uh, you'll be provided with the IP address and credentials for you to use your web browser, Internet Explorer in this case, to log into Horizon. The third tool that you will use, and this is the most important one, is OpenStack uh, CLI. In order to log into the CLI, you, you're going to receive an email, the same email that you receive in the other two cases. Uh, you log in to the IP address using the credentials that have been provided for you, and uh, you conduct your exercises uh, that way. 
So as I mentioned before, there are a couple of demos I want to show you. Uh, these demos walk you through a couple of different values you get by uh, using NetApp uh, Cloud on Tap with OpenStack. So some of these values include storage efficiency, unified architecture, uh, data protection, seamless scaling, and others. So we're going to go through a couple of these. Uh, the first one is continuous operation with OpenStack Manila. And the second one is storage efficiency uh, using OpenStack Lens. So continuous operations basically is very important in any enterprise um, or small business for that matter. Um, you want to keep your infrastructure running continuously. So this uh, demo uh, shows that using OpenStack Manila, which is the file share service. So we're first seeing what are the different uh, file shares that have already been created. There's nothing created right now. Uh, we go ahead and create one using the manila create command. Uh, we're creating an NFS share in this case, um, and it's of size one gigabyte. So let's just make sure the share was created successfully. Uh, it is. Uh, we have a share that is available. So one of the things with Manila is that once you create the share, you should also uh, specify an access policy to allow access. Similar to an IP tables firewall, things, things along that nature. It's an access list. So we just created a 1 GB NFS share. So what we want to do is we want to try to log into the share. And in order to do that, I've already created a couple of uh, Ubuntu, a uh, couple of VMs. One of them is an Ubuntu VM that can be an NFS client. So at this point in time, we're logged into the Ubuntu VM. So let's create a directory and mount the share. So in order to mount the share, you need the export location. Uh, so in order to get the export location, we can switch back to the Ubuntu VM and uh, basically copy and paste the output of the manila list command. So right now, I've switched back to the OpenStack instance, basically another window. I'm copying the export path from the manila list command. And then I'm going to paste it over here into the Ubuntu VM. OK, so now we're, um, we've successfully mounted the share. Uh, we see here the output of the df command. The share is mounted into slash mnt slash manila underscore nfs. So let's place a file in the share. Um, the reason I do this is because we want to check for continuous operation. So what I'm going to do after we place a file in the share is I'm going to execute a script that checks for continuous operations. So I've just named it uh, check mount in this case. So we're going to run check mount. All right, so now we've uh, started the script. And what this does is uh, it continuously does an ls. It does a directory listing. So. What we're going to do next is um, we're going to actually move the back end, which is the disk pool, as this uh, script for continuous operations is running. So, so let's say, I mean, this can be useful in a number of situations. Let's say you want to move from a regular SAS disk to an SSD disk, that type of thing. So that is our share that we just created. And we can actually verify it by uh, comparing it to the output of the manila list command. Uh, so we go there. We go into System Manager. We notice what disk pool it is in. And in this case, it's in a disk pool called AGGR2. We're going to move it to AGGR1, which is another disk pool. So at this point in time, we've moved the disk pool. Uh, we just wait a couple of seconds uh, for the share to be moved. And what we notice is that it's now an AGGR1. So we can go back to the script that we had to check for continuous operations and see whether it's still executing. 
Um, as you can see, the script is still running, indicating that you had continuous access. Um, yeah, so basically we moved disk pools and uh, we had a script that was running in the background as we moved. Uh, there was no disruption in service and that's how we proved that you, know, you had continuous availability of the share. So let me now take you to the next. to the next demo. So this demo is slightly different. It takes you through storage efficiency. Um, and in order to demonstrate storage efficiency, we go through uh, an exercise with Glance. So at this point in time, what we're doing is we're looking at the different images in our Glance repository. So these images will be created for you when you do the test drive. So here are the different images. We've got, we've got a few images, Trusty, uh, Utopic, Vivid, and so on. So let's go back to NetApp's on-command system manager again and uh, check for, uh, um, and basically do a storage efficiency exercise using the Glance image repository. So at this point in time, uh, we're looking at the di uh, different flexible volumes that are available in On Command System Manager. We see that we have a Glance image repository, 20 gigabytes in size. In order to look at storage efficiency, we switch tabs to storage efficiency. And this allows us to see the savings you get from deduplication and compression. All right, so we're in the storage efficiency tab, and it looks like we only have 58% uh, of storage efficiency at this time. So this b basically means that you're only saving 58% of capacity on your Glance image repository. So the storage efficiency processes are running in the background, so we can just kick it off uh, manually, and that's what I've just done. So I've just kicked it off in order to speed up the process for the demo. We see that the process is actively running. Let's wait approximately two minutes uh, for the deduplication and compression to complete on this Glance image repository. So after two minutes, let's go back and check. Uh, so as you can see, uh, you've, uh, you get a, a storage efficiency of over 80% in this case. Uh, now, it is, it is possible. We have in customer deployments, we've seen, this is actually a common number. We see 80%, 90% storage efficiency. So if you're looking at 80%, what that means is if you have a 10 terabyte uh, Glance image repository, you're gonna potentially reduce it to only two terabytes of capacity that is required. What this means is you're gonna say tremendously on the CapEx and OpEx to manage your storage. So that's storage efficiency for you. So these were the two. These were two different exercises in the test drive. There are other exercises for you to try out, and even go 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 ahead and try these different ones. Uh, in order to take the test drive, go to netapp.github.io and click on the icon that's displayed over here. Uh, if you do have any feedback or questions, feel free to reach me. My email is uh, as displayed akshay at netapp.com. So here are some other related sessions. There's uh, the Manila Big Data uh, session that just concluded, actually. Uh, feel free to check that out uh, on YouTube later. Uh, there's another session that is about FlexPod. Uh, this is another popular product that we have from NetApp. Uh, Manila design sessions, as you see over here. There are also additional sessions about Cinder design. So feel free to attend those as well. So that's all I have uh, for this OpenStack on Cloud on Tap demo uh, and uh, demo with the test drive. So if you have any questions, I can take them at this time. All right. Thank you. Thank you for your time.